Hey everybody, Monkey Wrench Mike. We are back with a, another video today and you're in for a surprise because I have purchased a $175 car. What have I done? Yep, I won an auction. $175. So the big question is, what kind of a car do you get for less than 200 bucks? Let's find out. You really have to be kidding me, right? See all the little pistons? All right, it looks like snow. That's hail, folks. Rolls Royce Dawn. Oh my goodness, why is my life so fun? Come on, car, you're floored. I'm flooring a V12 engine. You thought this was gonna be perfect, right? Why can't I, like, fall in love with a Lexus? Mike. Mike. Yay! I'm say, in the car. All right, one of these things is not like the others. One of these things just doesn't belong. Do you remember that song? Yeah, okay, here are your choices. Did I get a Camaro? Did I get an old Mercedes? Hint, hint. Or a Chevy? I don't even know what that is. No, no. And yes, sir, Rebob. Yep, this is my beauty. <laughs> and I say that taking a first look at it. I, I literally haven't looked at the car. Okay, I just walked up here. I was fortunate enough to be able to park this at AARHQ. My good friend Randy said, okay, I have space now. He had, this was once full of cars, full of cars. And he sold so many and he said he had room. So I had a car delivered here. Yep. This is it. This is my beautiful, to me, 1985 Mercedes 190E. Yeah, what do you think? This is what you get for $175. And you add the auction fee onto that. You get a flat tire. Who knows how long these tires have been sitting. This is the car they kind of kept Mercedes alive for a while. It introduced the C-Class before there was a C-Class. Um, this used to be a Wheelsy LLC car, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. Anyway, take a look at what used to be left of the paint. Yeah. This used to be a cool bronze-ish color. Almost, almost like another car I used to have. The Brazilian bronze, remember? Oh, I'm missing a star. Okay. This just gets better and better. <laughs> oh my gosh. What have I done? It's a non-runner, if you can't figure that out. I do have an antenna, so that's okay. Really, there's no body damage. Two of the tires hold air. Two do not. Okay. Well... It is what it is. These used to be amazing, amazing little cars. They would get gas mileage out the wazoo. They were fun, they were pretty peppy. And I thought it would be fun to bring one back from the dead. So let me let my uh, love's cup stay there. Stay right there. Are you ready to go inside? Let's see what you get. Okay, yeah. The interior from the pictures looked okay. <sighs> I like the color. Okay, let's just say that. I do like the color. It's kind of loose. The door card is loose. I do have keys, which is good. Check out the seats, though. Check that out, baby. Yeah. We can fix this. That's not an issue at all. Look at this. When's the last time you saw a map? What does this mean? When is the last time you actually had a map of Oklahoma? 1999 to 2000. Let me show you what the state looks like. <laughs> wow. I really haven't seen one of these in a long time. There it is. Somewhere on the map is where we are. I live here. Used to live there. There it is. That is the state of Oklahoma. This is the state of the interior. Woo! Okay, let's just kind of jump in and see what we got. Let's put the map in the back. 
At least the door's open. Probably the first time they've opened in a long time. That's a little bit loose. Look at the back seat. Okay. This is okay. Look how long the... My window tent. Oh! -ho! Wow. That's special. That is really special. And it smells like an old Mercedes. It does. It really does. Okay, we're going to sit in this thing. Oh my goodness, how dusty is it? It's pretty dusty. Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't think that's right. We seem to be sticking out a little bit. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, and here's what happens when wood gets old. Oh, we'll just put that right back. You'll never see that. You'll never notice that. Or this piece. You know, I could read, I just lacquer this up again. This, how this is coming off? It's just, yeah, the polyurethane that's coming off, I can re-lacquer that. Oh, look, I got a owner's manual. 190E, 2.3. Okay, here's a clue of what lies in the engine compartment. That's your fuse cover. This is an old relay oh, for your AC compressor. Okay. Uh, okay, so I do have both of the visors, the sun visors. This one will go right there. The other one is attached. I'm looking for a rear view mirror. What else do I have? Oh, fuses. Look at these fuses and some air vents. Okay. That's okay. What is this? Oh, yeah, here we go. My bill of sale. Um, I don't want to show my address or Randy's address. They towed it. I think it was for a hundred, like $109, which is like the deal of the century. Other than the car itself being the deal of the century. Okay, I have keys with, with a little wire sticker. Okay, do they work? They do work. Okay, look at this. Okay, we'll have to get this reattached. There is an issue. I got an issue with my center console. And I'm missing a button. What's under here though? I don't even know. Okay, see my little knob? I'm missing a knob right there. I can't get it to go back now. Oh, that's great. I just broke something. I just broke it. Okay, that, see, look how cool the little glove box is. It still works. I need a star. I need the headlight surrounds. Gosh, this is heavy. Ugh. I don't have a battery. Oh, wow. I just looked at the engine. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Mike. Mike should have looked at the picture. Wow. Oh, my. How long has it been? This is this, oh gosh. All right, let me put the hood up. Just stay right there. There's not even a battery. I don't even have a battery. Oh my goodness gracious. I got room for a battery. Look at all that. Look at all of this. Holy moly. Okay, is there oil? <coughs> there is oil. That's a good sign. That is a real good sign. That's a real bad sign. Oh my gosh. Holy moly. So, Mike needs a battery. I thought there would be one in here and I could jump. Oh, ooh, ooh. Oh, gee, many Christmas. Look at all that. Oh, gosh. What do I do? Can I even try to start it? Oh, hell no. Will it even turn? 
Oh, great googly moogly. Great googly moogly. Should I steal the battery from the S6, S500 and just see if it starts? Let's see what's in the trunk. Oh, okay, I got car parts in the trunk. These are from an old, old diesel. Like a 300D, I'm guessing, maybe? What is this from? Is there a car part? 113. Look at that right there. There you go. These headlights do not belong to this car, but that's okay. I'll take them. I can sell them and make tens of dollars. What's under here? Wow. Oh, oh that's in really good shape. It's flat, but the wheel itself is in good shape. When, that's a score. Look at this. Wow. Okay, I don't even know if there's, oh. You wanna smell? This thing has not been running. I can't even get it off. Hold on. Ugh. Ugh, I can't even get it off. I'm sure there's no gas. There can't be. And this doesn't work. Does this? This one works. Maybe it's just locked. You know, if you stay inside, it's a good car. That's the first time that's been opened in a decade, probably. As it won't even open, though. That's as far as it'll go. Okay, you gotta be very skinny to get in the back seat of this car. That's all the room you get. Oh. Oh, Mike, what did you do? What did, well, what other kind of car could you get for $175? <laughs> I don't know. We're back with the borrowed battery. Yeah, Randy had this in there, and there was some spark in it. So I just wanna see what happens. Okay, hopefully this won't go up in flames. I just wanna see what happens. And we'll try the important window, but that right there scares me. Fortunately, the fireman lives in, just down the street, is what I've been told. Okay, let's just see. <laughs> I don't even know if there's power. We've got the power. Let's find out. Nothing. Nothing and nothing. Okay, wonderful. Wonderful. Marvelous. Is this connected? Maybe. Okay. Oh, sh oh, oh, you're kidding me. Oh, oh. Okay, she's in neutral and she just tried to start. You're kidding. Here we go again. You ready? Let's see if you can see the engine. Let me hold this up here. Hold this up here. All right, here we go. You're kidding me. We just need gas. You're kidding. Oh, my goodness. Okay, now, let's go see if we can steal some gas. All right, well, we borrowed a gas can from Randy. I got these out of the S500. And I'm just gonna see what's in here. Oh, okay. <coughs> That's really bad. Oh my goodness, that stinks. Okay, so we're gonna put some gas in here. And then we're really gonna give it a try. I, it's, it's unbelievable if this thing is gonna start. It is, look at the leaves. Look at the leaves. Okay, here goes the gasoline. Ugh. Well, that didn't work. Ooh, bugs. Okay, I need...
need a screwdriver or a pencil. One screwdriver. There we go. And a little bit of gasoline. Let's just see what's going to happen. Ugh, this is dirty. Okay. In real time. Here is... Say a little prayer. Because... This car is going to start! I don't know. Let's just see what happens. Oh, wait. I don't hear the fuel pump. I think we need a fuel pump. Well, there is your air filter housing. There's the problem. Yep, this little fuel distributor. We're not getting fuel, okay? In or out. So, we need a fuel pump. There's no use working anymore. We definitely need a fuel pump. So, we're gonna go back to the big town, get a fuel pump, and look, it even worked. See, there we go. Yep. <laughs> Thanks, Mercedes, for throwing in the little tool that I need. Yep, it's perfect. If only I had a fuel pump. I should have brought one. Because it's probably the same as in the 97. I don't know. 97 would be the same as 85. I don't know. They use the same fuel pump forever. But look at your oil filter. Wow. All right. Something tells me there's life in this old girl. <sighs> Even though some of the fuses are gone. Got to come up with a name for the dirty girl. Woo! Bronze Betty? I don't know. I love the interior. I love that I can peel off the back window tinning like nothing. Ugh. But there's a lot of work ahead of us on this car. So much work. With the air filter back on, I want to protect anything from falling into there. <laughs> if that's even possible. Okay. And then we'll make another video. Come on. Sit. 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 Perfect. Kind of. Woo, doggy. What do you think of my purchase? $175 for a non-running POS Mercedes 190E. I threw the POS in, in there just to see if you were paying attention. I don't think it's going to be a POS. I think it's going to be a pretty good purchase. A PGP. Yeah, no POS. This is a PGP, people. Yeah, I think it's going to work. I'm a sweaty mess. I've done some videos at IAAI this morning. Then I came down to AARHQ, gave my best at the old 190E. She beat me today. I'll get her next time. I will, I will get her next time. I'll get myself a fuel filter, a fuel pump, an air filter, a uh, fuel relay maybe, see what else I can find. And then she's gonna start. And a great big old thing of sweat is just about to drop right into my eye. And it burns like the devil. Okay, so with that, we're gonna end this video. We'll pick it up when I get all the parts and we're gonna hopefully have a running, driving, on two good tires, two bad tires, 1985 Mercedes 190E I picked up for 175 bucks plus auction fees. Okay, folks, have a great day. We'll see you again very, very soon. Bye.